When the first plane went into the first tower, I thought maybe this is just a little Cessna that got lost and it was an accident. When the second plane went into the second tower, it was clear something was terribly wrong. As I approached the twin towers, all of a sudden, the first tower, it was like it, it melted right before my eyes. It just, it toppled. And everywhere people just screamed. I was in New York that day because I was working as a correspondent for CBS News out of the 60 Minutes offices, and I ran down there. Uh, it was a matter of hours later when I had gone full circle after the collapse of both buildings and sat down on the set with Dan Rather. Dan, I think I was in the second collapse or uh, an explosion right after that because I was trying to make my way around Stuyvesant High School. And I showed my press ID and a firefighter said to me, look, walk in the middle of the street because there might still be falling debris. And then all of a sudden, we felt the ground rumble and I saw a bull, just a ball of flame come out of the base of the second tower uh, like it, like gasoline had ignited and and a, the firefighters turned around and he and others screamed run and I ran uh, I fell one of them picked me up we ran as fast as we could and that firefighter again took me threw me against the wall of, a, of another building where there was like a granite or, or marble overhang and covered me with his body to the point where I could feel his heart beating so hard it was hitting my backbone and we waited my deepest regret is when it first happened when I made that first just bolt to survive and that firefighter saved me that I didn't have the presence of mind to say tell me your name I hope he's alive I wish I could thank him you know, I resolve every couple of years, I'm not going to talk about this anymore. But I feel guilty about talking about it in the sense that I was the one saved. I wasn't the one who saved anybody. And um, I always have a fear of exploiting this as opposed to simply explaining what I saw that day. But I don't dwell on it. And I think that in this country, our job is to learn from the past, never forget the past, but, you know, look ahead uh, more than we look behind, if we can. I've been asked, if, if something like this happened again, what would you do? And my response is, I do the same thing, because this is what we do. This is what I am. I'm a reporter. My job is um, one of telling stories, and I would want to be there to tell it.